So recently I had an exhibit in the Union here, uh, an art exhibit, and it was called Words for Pictures. Did anyone see it? Yeah. yeah. A couple people? All right, cool. Uh, it was really exciting for me. It was something that was new. It's not really in my, my, my purview. It's not, I'm not an art student or anything. So it was neat to do an art exhibit. And I was, the day it opened, I was, I was giddy with excitement. I'm not going to lie. And I, I forgot a few things. I had to hang up a couple extra things. So I went into the art exhibit, and I was just hanging up like one last thing. And I was hammering away. And this woman walks in, and I was like, oh, man, this is that. This is going to happen. Like, I'm going to meet someone who's going to see my art, you know? And I just, like, pretended I was still hammering. So she, like, looks at the art, and I'm just, like, waiting. And she's like, she's going to talk to me. And she goes, hey. And I was like, yes. <laughs> she goes, hey, is this, is this your exhibit? And I said, yeah, do you like it? And she goes, no, not at all. <laughs> but it's cool that you did it. And then like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was more of a, remember that's like the day that it opened, like the minute that, uh, I didn't think it was going anywhere good from there, but it did. I mean, it, it, this show isn't all about self-deprecation like most of mine are. Um, it, it went well, uh, and people enjoyed it. The comment book had a lot of fun comments. One of the things I did was I had this interactive part of the art exhibit, and that's something that I'd never seen done. It was an idea that I had that I thought would be really cool, and people loved it. They loved being part of the exhibit. So I was like, we got this comedy show coming up. You guys want to be involved, right? Well, a few of you are going to be, hopefully, you're sitting in the seats that I've marked. So. If everyone will look under their seats, the odds of this actually having worked are very slim, but look under your seats. If you're in the aisle seats, you've probably got a better chance because I didn't want to walk to the middle. <laughs> I, I'm happy that you've all laughed. That's been accomplished. But I also wanted to share some advice with you. So I've written some fun little notes under random seats that all happen to be empty right now. And then, <laughs> what are the odds? So... <laughs> I don't remember them all, but I remember a couple. So I'll, I'll share at least. I'll share at least. Um, I'll share two with you that I, that I definitely remember. So one of them. This is advice from my grandma. It's it's very common advice. My oh, don't worry about it, Meredith. Thank you. Uh, my grandma said that you should never spend all your money in one place, unless that place is a casino and you're feeling lucky. <laughs> it's true though. Statistically, you got a good chance, right? Don't quote me on that. I don't do much research for my show. I'm not gonna. Lie. Um, and then another bit of advice, oh, and this one's extremely re relevant. We've talked about Facebook a little bit tonight. If you ever get a rando Facebook friend request, and the profile pic has two people in it, and you're wondering, is it the cute one? It's never the cute one. <laughs> never. <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry. It's just, it's never the cute one. <laughs> it is. I, I'm just trying to break it to you over and over again. So... <laughs>